Hey there, I'm Cameron Nichols, and welcome to another volume of The Week That Was. So what's making news this week is uh, vacancy rates in Sydney, currently at 2.4%, which is relatively low, but as we come out of lockdown, we expect that to uh, fall even further. So that should have a positive impact on the rental prices, but we expect those uh, effects to take place over the next six months or so. So uh, good news for, for landlords, uh, not such great news for people looking to uh, move into a rental property. Uh, there was a report released by SQM Research, one of the leading uh, research firms relating to property and associated industries that touched on stamp duty and its relationship with the property market. So in 2008, uh, we saw that there was around 4.5% of all houses on the market at any given time. Now, as at today, there's less than 2.5% of all properties. So uh, SQM Research have determined that due to the rising cost of stamp duty, uh, there's a lower turnover and availability of stock, which causes prices to go even higher. So there is some, uh, uh, some further studies to be done around the relationship of stamp duty, the availability of stock, as well as the rising prices in the real estate industry. So a lot has been talked about APRA and the effect that it's gonna have on the industry. And this has been bubbling along and I've commented on it almost every week, but the Australian Prudential Regulator has written to every uh, leading um, bank and, and lender and uh, told them that they need to increase the loan buffer for approved uh, mortgages. So this will mean that the uh, the loan size that you'll have available to you from the bank will reduce by around 5%. Uh, this means that should you be getting, using round figures, a loan of a, a million dollars, that uh, in the months to come, that will only be 950,000. Now, I'm just using round figures. I'm not suggesting that average loan sizes are a million dollars, although they very well could be, but just to give you an example. Uh, so this will take effect over the course of the next three to six months. And leading up to Christmas, I do expect that uh, if we're not in the purple patch or the, the peak of the market right now, that it's gonna come over the next few weeks. As buyers look to uh, exhaust their pre-approval levels, uh, as when they get retested for their loans, that it's gonna be under the new restrictions uh, for lending. So um, it's good news for buyers, um, as I think that although you'll only have a lower amount available to you from the bank, uh, that the effect will be that the price of property should uh, come down. Now th this alone is not going to reduce the uh, price of property, but I think that as the coffee chat and the, 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 the pub talk swells around the market shifting uh, and other potential limitations on the market, that we will see an easing property market throughout the course of 2022. Now, in Nichols & Co, uh, the highlights in sales and rentals. So rentals, we leased out a property in Putney Hill in one week. Uh, as a cracking ground floor unit, two bed, one bath, 600 a week. And uh, staying in Putney Hill, we've just launched uh, another two better there, which um, uh, it's a great little development and uh, we hope to turn a similar result. Uh, one week lease, uh, or, or taking one week to lease out a property uh, always is uh, a good result for the landlord. On the sales front, I can't wait to get started on marketing a gorgeous little worker's cottage in Glebe. Uh, we're just preparing that property for sale right now, but stay tuned. In other listings, we're gonna cracking commercial property in Leichhardt, check that out. Property coming up in Concord, two better, uh, around the 750 mark. Uh, we've got investments in Ride, there's two properties there, uh, and a whole bunch of properties that are slated to be coming up um, so if you're thinking of selling, uh, no doubt, now's the time to sell. Um, I think next year will be too late, but um, your circumstances may be such that you just can't do anything this year and so be it. Look, the market's not gonna fall off the face of the earth, but uh, you know, I do think that, that either we're in the peak now or it's gonna be coming in the next uh, six weeks or so. Uh, anyway, I'm signing off, have a great weekend, um, and um, I'll, tune in, I'll check in with you next week.
Bye for now.